have a number of major steel factories in the harbor. And those steel factories have left their tailings and their pollutants have gone into the bay and ultimately um, polluted the bay. One area has actually been given its own name. It's called Randall Reef because there's so much of the contaminant on the bottom of the harbor that it's, it's formed a reef and uh, it needs to be marked for navigational purposes so boats don't run into it. Um, the other problem is that the city um, has buried all of its rivers that ran off the escarpment and came over as waterfalls through the city. There were 14 of them. Um, 13 of them have been buried. Um, and by burying those rivers and streams, they've really destroyed um, the fish habitat that once thrived in this area and ran up through these, um, these rivers to the edge of the escarpment. It was a health concern. And so instead of letting people go to these creeks and touch that water and get sick, they just buried the creeks. So you no longer, all those rivers and creeks just seem to have vanished and they disappeared. But they come out at the bottom, and where they come out is where the steel factories are. So then all that water is being discharged through these polluted areas where the steel factories have stored their coal and thrown their tailings, etc. So that picks up all that waste and ultimately it just, you know, runs off into the, into the harbor. And so you see slicks, which look like oil, but they're tar slicks floating on the, on the water in the area. And it's... Um, yeah, it's really unfortunate. It was seen as one of the most polluted areas in Canada um, 20, 30 years. There has been a lot of work done to try and clean it up, new sewage treatment plants, better stormwater control, um, cover of some of the tailings, and, um, and reduction in some of the pollutants coming out of the steel factories. But the remnants of what took place um, 30, 40 years ago are still haunt that city. The new committee that's been set up just recently and just received $40 million, its goal is to try and see what needs to be done in order to get it delisted. I think there's still some way off. It's going to cost a lot more money than they've already allocated, but at least the people have a desire to see it delisted. And there's now an effort among the scientists and the um, decision makers to find a way to get there. Mm -hmm.